guys, we're doing a mountain drove finally. We got Jin and Lee and the Toyota Corolla. Just kidding. <laughs> got a Supra, the BMW M4, and a 992 Carrera T in shark blue. It's gonna be a really nice run. I love that we have a small group. It gets crazy when you have more than 10 cars. So, should be a good time. Let's go. This car came in two months, believe it or not, with an allocation. That's like unheard of. Yeah, I don't have the leather interior. So it's, it's just the basic um, classic interior, but I got a performance stuff. Um, Look at that, got the blue accents. It's a Carrera T, so it has all the performance stuff uh, standard, which is what I like the most, right? So yeah. seven speed manual, everything, yeah, it's, it's great. It's definitely, it's definitely one of, not one of the fastest cars I've owned, but I really do enjoy driving a lot. It's a great car to drive. So. This is an incredibly rare car. The Carrera T, this is actually the first Carrera T I've seen in person. I saw one in Frankfurt, but yeah. not in the US. <laughs> yeah. so. Nothing else fits in there, but yeah, he sits in the back. And, uh, <laughs> Look at that! It's actually not expensive. It's actually a generic. And it just. All right, guys, here we go. Starting the mountain run. We've got to get up on uh, 400 to get to the mountains. We've got a 992 Carrera T and a new Supra in a really rare blue color. It's gonna be a fun time. back again POV footage a lot of you asked for the mountain drive so we have a good group three guys nice small group uh, created a route on Google Maps um, I'll see if I can actually share the route in the link uh, that I'll drop below it's hard to, to create a map on an iPhone I actually had to use my laptop and then use Google Maps so we're gonna go through a few of the gaps up in the North Georgia mountains and come back should be a good day excited for you guys to see this footage this time of year is really beautiful in Georgia. Usually the last week of October, which we're in, warms up. So we had 70 degree weather, 80 degree weather. And then next week, the lows are already in the high 20s. So it's nice to get out and enjoy today. The drive up to the mountains is pretty cool. You get to see a lot of farmland. And then of course the trees changing colors. That's gonna be sick. I'm gonna try and get some footage from overlooks where we can park and uh, just see the scenery with the cars. Hope you guys enjoy. When you guys do mountain runs, it's really important, especially if you're gonna lead or organize it, to uh, have a talk with the drivers, to explain the route, to explain that, you know, you should have a group message, preferably radios, which we don't have today, but those are always good, like walkie talkies. And you should go over the basics, like tire pressure, gas, where are we gonna be stopping? You should put your hazard lights on if anything goes wrong. And of course, if a lot of traffic builds up in front of you, the lead car will actually slow down so that they can create a gap. And just words of wisdom that I've learned is to live your life intentionally. So have good intentions, but follow through on them. Have a purpose in what you're doing. And that'll help you really in all situations, but especially if you're gonna organize and lead a mountain drive. Be intentional, know what you're getting into. All right, guys, I got the car in all-wheel drive, M1, DSC off, four-wheel drive sport, stability and traction control off, and the second fastest shift speed. And uh, this is my preferred mountain driving setup. Uh, I don't like to go full rear-wheel drive because, you know, the car has so much torque that coming out of a turn, especially the steep turns, you can absolutely oversteer and end up in a ditch. And as we say, you know, shiny side up, and I'm not trying to uh, break any mountain drive records right now. I'm trying to lead this group and have a good time and get some great footage for you guys.
quick bio break. <laughs> Another thing to check is tire pressures. This is the only blue Supra of this color that I've seen.
gorgeous day for a mountain drive. We're behind this X5 who's slowing us down a little bit. A few times now I've actually slowed down a lot to leave a lot of space. But uh, right now just enjoying the views. Absolutely spectacular. Everything good? Yeah. I was thinking maybe we can do some photos on that bridge. That yeah, looks pretty cool. Here. It's so pretty. Yeah. It's so nice, man. Good? Yeah. Y'all yeah. <laughs> yeah, just like jet it off. <laughs> yeah. um, the truck, that was a part of it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was like, damn. Oh, good. Yeah. No, then then we pulled off a little so bit. A couple yeah. bits to get past it. We had a few good stretches, though, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I heard my car was chirping. I was like, shit. <laughs> How much does that car weigh? Like, 4,000 pounds. That's crazy. You're just carving through those cars. All-wheel drive helps. I kept it in all-wheel drive. If I put it in real-wheel drive, I would have I lost it. I was about to say, because that car, you, you're not training like 4,000 pounds. Like, no, right. That was going left and right. Really sure, so. Do you want to take pictures of the cars uh, on the bridge? If we back up on the bridge? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. I don't think anyone will come through. Yeah. So we stopped at a farm of some sort. And we got a beautiful bridge that we're getting some footage at. Look at this blue. This is just spectacular. We're gonna do one car by one and then we'll line up all three. I'm hoping if I step on this bridge, it won't fall. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm probably heavier than these cars. <laughs> All right, guys, we stopped for some scenic pictures. Now we're getting back on it.
I'm crossing the yellow lines, that's because there's a lot of leaves on the other sides and I'm not trying to get caught up in the leaves. Although the leaves are everywhere here. Alright guys, so we came to a scenic overlook wildlife viewing area. It's nice that we had this little pull off. You can actually go in here, there's some trails. Look at these three machines carving up the mountains. <laughs>
guys we stopped at the wolf pen gap country store usually where we start our mountain drives but for our route it's the end and then we can go home and when we pulled in there's a whole nother group here you can see the leaves cars ate well it heated up towards the middle of the day it was pretty cold this morning what's up guys how's it going <laughs> just checking out the cars yes sir we're gonna check out yours oh yeah <laughs> look at these look at those wheels aero discs carrera t no way these are kitted does he have 720s <laughs> I thought it said 720S, it says Z51, that would have been funny. Carrera T! That's sick! Does the center exit give it away? Yeah, yeah. I, I really love the T, man. I just feel like you kind of have to match the machine with the driving skill. And I have, you know, good awareness of my driving skill. And uh, T is just perfect. I love GT3 the lettering. is just such a good car, but it's almost excessive. You know what I mean? Yeah, it is excessive. Is it? You it's not daily. In the yeah, I daily did, but God yeah, damn, I, I put four S's on it instead of the Cup twos. Yeah. I took a trip to Pittsburgh and back a few times, and through Virginia, there's valleys. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And I got caught in rainstorms on the Cup twos the first time. I was like, this is never again. I'm gonna yeah. drive this in with Cup twos on the street. I did a full Catalyst system with Fab Speed. <laughs> It was actually the first car that I did a quarter mile pass in a How do you know when we would step on it? <laughs> oh dude, I did every time. And my ears would be ringing. In Midtown too. I, I drove it to Silver Dollar Motorsports Park in Reynolds, Georgia. Yeah. 100 miles south of Atlanta. Yeah. Really good well prepped drag service. Yeah. They do test and tune on Friday nights. Yeah. And the GT3 was the first car I did a yeah. 10 second quarter mile pass in. I didn't realize you can do 10 seconds. Dude, 127 miles. 10.911. Perfect number. Yeah, <laughs> so I drove the, the Dow 2 at the Porsche Experience Center on the track. Yeah. Um, blew my yeah. fucking mind. Like it, it literally, it's, it's, like, it's like a religious experience. There's no other way to put it. Um, and the fact that you can beat the crap out of thing, you can launch it for 30 times. It's every yeah, every stoplight. That just blows my mind. It's yeah, it's dude, it's been my dream car. I compare it to like Coyote the runner, like how he gets his like feet going really quickly. It feels like that. It's like spin it and then it just goes. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, dude, that's dream car for sure. <laughs> What's next for you, man? You keep it up a couple years and like. I would like a 992 GTS, a dot one 992 GTS, because I know dot two will come out. Hopefully yeah. the prices will come down. You don't mind a turbo? I like the turbo. You like the yeah, turbo? Yeah, because it's like a step up from that car. It's all wheel. You can get all wheel drive. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if it has back seats, but right now it's okay to not have you back get a seats. Targa. Targa. This weather, Targa be bitching, dude. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm we a big convertible guy. I had a I had a Boxster GTS before, and it, there's no torque, but it's na it sounds amazing. Naturally aspirated, and you cannot be top down. No. You can be going 30 miles an hour. I don't care. It's, it's that would be time. perfect for these mountains, dude. Too much power, you're gonna go off the road. Yeah, on the, I'm, I'm at the limit of too much power. Like it's, it's like you know, it's like kind of scary. Again, it's driving skill versus the machine. I, I just True. think, I, dude, I think the car's getting so fast these days. People are not aware of. You gotta get back to the fundamentals. I wonder how fast this thing is. It's got aero discs from Brabus. This is a V8. Oh, the V8 by Turbo AMG. How's it going? Hey, good. How are you? Good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Alright, guys. That's the end of the video. Hope you had a great time.